What is up guys? Welcome back to another video guys. Today we're going into the MacBook once again. I've got a MacBook Pro but today we're going into the touchpad gestures you can do on the MacBook and we're going through every single one and a lot of them are quite useful. You definitely won't know some of these gestures, what you can do on the touchpad. So keep in tune to see something and learn something about the touchpad and everything you need to know, all the gestures for the MacBook Pro and the normal MacBook with the touch bar. Some of these are really useful. Without further ado, let's get into some of them. So guys, for these gestures, we're starting off very simple. And the first one and the first few, certainly you will know, but if you wait to the end of the video, some of these gestures you definitely won't have seen before and you'll learn something new. So the first one is simple, one finger tap to click. Everyone knows that. However, you can also turn tap to click so you don't have to press it in. And you do that by going into the settings, into the touchpad motion. And I'll show you that on the screen there. So you know how to tap to click without actually clicking. The second one as well is also turned on in the settings and that's to right click on the MacBooks. You press with two fingers on, on the trackpad and that gives you your right click. So the next one, which you may actually not know, is that if you double tap with two fingers, it will zoom in onto that page where your mouse is currently located on the screen. To scroll up and down on a web page, you simply use two fingers and scroll up or down on the trackpad. And that's how you move up and down on a web page. Simple, quick one for you guys there. Another one to zoom in, where you've got two fingers like this and you pinch to zoom in, you go away and then you pinch to zoom back out. So, and that goes onto where your mouse is currently located so you can zoom in on different parts of the screen where your mouse is by either zooming in like that or going back out. Quick and simple one guys, but very effective if you need something enlarging. So the next one, you may not know, if you need a picture rotating, you get two fingers like this and you twist them and rotate from the side and that will automatically rotate, rotate the picture or other item for you. The next one guys, another simple one, you get two fingers, you swipe left or right and then you can either go back or forward between viewing. So if you went forward and then you wanted something which were two pages back, then you, can, you simply can swipe twice and get back to the page you wanted to be on. Another quick one, if you swipe left from the right edge on the trackpad, then it brings up your notification centre. So if you get three fingers and your thumb and swipe your thumb away from your three fingers, then it will bring the desktop up on your laptop. So that's a quick, simple way to get to your laptop desktop without having to click the minimize. You simply swipe your thumb away from your three fingers like this. As previous and similar to before, instead of showing your desktop, you can bring up the launch pad and that is opposite. You bring, you have three fingers and your thumb and you bring them in together so your launch pad and then you do the opposite to then get rid of the launch pad so guys the other three gestures involve your four fingers four fingers swiping up from the top is mission control you swipe up to open the mission control quick and simple one you can also swipe down with four fingers to see all windows for the app you're using and you can swipe between full screen apps, swipe left or right between four fingers to move between desktop and full screen apps. So guys, let me know if you enjoyed this video. That's all the gestures you need to know on your MacBook. Very simple gestures. You may not have known some of them, but a lot of them come in handy for everyday use. Definitely check this out and like and subscribe if you found the video useful, guys. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys. Peace.